So I would say normally I like to prepare for my videos and just have everything set out and know how I want to film it. Today I don't really know how this video is going to go. It went bad, but enjoy anyways. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a more laid back style of video. So you know how I always joke about <laughs> one of my hobbies or activities that I do and the reason why I collect so many eyeshadows is because in the middle of the night I like to sit on my floor and just swatch pretty eyeshadows all over my body. That's what we're about to do. Now of course um, I'm in a bit of a different scenario. I did my face today because I just felt like playing and lighting and all of that so that you can see and you will see throughout this video that you cannot see anyways because everything was blurry but we're gonna do that together i have some shadows some really pretty shadows that you know i'm bored and i just feel like swatching and i figured i'd do it on camera because i've discovered some of the world's prettiest eyeshadows not to be dramatic and i just want to share in the magic with you because we have some extremely reflective duochrome glittery shadows that i just want to put on my arm and show you am i sounding creepy here so <laughs> yes yes i am if you want to swatch some eyeshadows with me look at pretty glittery shiny things then just keep watching <laughs> So I've talked about a little bit on my channel on my Instagram how I was trying to get more into indie brands and turns out over the last few months I've been collecting some shadows here and there from some different brands. Turns out indie brands are the future. Like they have the most beautiful shadows, the most beautiful formulas that you can't find in these normal makeup brands. If you are looking for a glitter, shimmery, duochrome, beautiful reflectiveness, I need to share these shadows with you. That, that's why we're sitting here. I need to share these with you. I'm wearing a full eye of like indie eyeshadows and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't. So, <laughs> I have purchased from three brands over the last few months. Terra Moons Cosmetics, Sydney Grace Cosmetics, and most recently I received a package from Touch of Glam Beauty. I used mostly Touch of Glam Beauty on my eyes today, so we'll start off with these shadows. And now I purchased these off of her Etsy shop, and she actually is subscribed to my channel, so hey girl. She was so sweet. I messaged her and let her know that I was planning on making an order, and she did send in a few extra stuff, but her shadows, her Instagram, everything looked so beautiful, and of course when I got her shadows in the mail, I don't have a fresh Z palette, so they're kind Kind of sporadically in these random old gross palettes but i ordered this set and look at how beautiful these look i will put the set that i ordered down below i just like totally screwed that one up because i scraped it i ordered the set i would like for them to be in the same palette but at the current moment they're not but look at these they're beautifully embossed just imagine if they were all in one palette Ooh. and i used these shadows on my eyelid today and that's why they look stunning so let's just like let's just swatch a few okay let's look at pretty things i'm just gonna pick not a lot i just want you to get an idea of how amazing these are so we're gonna start off with the shadows that i used on my eyes today if you were curious so like i said this is from touch of glam beauty she makes her own shadows out in la i don't even know how to film this so if it turns out bad i'm sorry so we have this shadow right here. This is called On Fleek. It's a duochrome shadow. So first of all, so creamy to the touch. This is what we're looking like. This is what's on the inner half of my eyelid. My nails are ratchet. They always are. I'm done apologizing. Oh, it's not even showing. Look how pretty and glittery and shiny that is. So stunning. The beauty of it isn't even pulling up on camera. Like in person, y'all would be shook. But that is what this shade right here is on the outer half of my eyelid. Now, I did put matte shadows down, but I went in with Leprechaun right here. Stunning, right? Y'all know how much I love my greens. This is a duochrome slash multi-dimensional. This is what it's looking like thus far. Ooh, for these shadows that shimmer and finish and dimension, is what's gonna get you. So that's what's on the outer half. I don't know, even though these don't seem extremely vivid, like they do on the eyes and they spread so easily. And then right on top, like in the center for a pop, I used Muse, which is a multi-chrome and multi-dimensional shade. These look schmummy. Never said I was a good swatcher, that was horrible. What I've learned from this is I am the world's worst swatcher. 
worse than Kim K. You just wanna spread these out on your arms because they're so glittery. I'm just gonna start randomly picking out some shadows that I feel like swatching because the Touch of Glam are new to me. I haven't used a lot of these. This is Aloha right here, looking like that. So that has some like blue in it, a little bit of lilac. Ooh, I love that. Let's go into these like purpley blue colors. So this one is Fantasy. It looks like a silvery kind of lilac shade. So that's like a perfect fairy color. Temptress right here. Ooh. Look at that. Love child. I love blues, even though I never use them. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This has like that yellow shift to it. And guys, these are so creamy. If you're looking for a good laugh, I would suggest you rewind that last clip a little bit and look at my face and not the swatches. Yes, I think this one might be my favorite. See how this deeper shade goes. This is Enchantress. Okay, that's gonna be a beautiful blue look. We'll do this one as the last one of these types of shadows. These are the duochrome multi-dimensional shades. This is Paris Nights. Oh my gosh, this as a smoky eye. Look at these. So these are all of her like multi-dimensional duochrome shades. So you're really gonna get just a high glitter, shiny kind of finish with some reflex. I love that. So the blush here is random, but she was kind enough to send me a couple other different formulas. So she has different highlighters and I wanna play with those colors cause they look stunning. This is from the Vivids collection, which that collection, oh my gosh, if you're into color, you're going to love. So this is Man Eater. And this one, I feel like it's gonna be vivid. Oh, I might need to purchase the Vivids because if all of them are like this pigmentation wise and it has such a strong, beautiful golden shift to it, that's kind of insane. Okay, this one will be our last one from Touch of Glam Beauty, but this is from the Spring Rain Collection and this is called Nudie Branch. My arm is tired from swatching, I need to stand. Oh my gosh, what regular brand? creates formulas like these. These are sick, holy cow. Okay, so here's what I'm swatching from Touch of Glam Beauty. Honestly, these need to be on my eyeballs. So I'm gonna clean up my arm and we're gonna move on. So here is kind of where I keep the other indie shadows that I've collected. So the top here are Sydney Grace and the bottom are Terra Moons. We'll start off with Sydney Grace. I feel like Sydney Grace is a very popular, well-known one. If you watch like Mel or Kelsey Brianna J, they were the ones that influenced me to buy these. I did use these mattes right here, these three. These are from like the Mountain Trail bundle. I can't remember. I bought it a while ago. I'm not gonna lie. I've had Sydney Grace the longest, but I use Dirt Road as my crease color, backwoods to deepen it, and then for some extra depth in the outer corner, I used Wildlife. The mattes are very nice. They're very easy to blend. But one thing I noticed, especially from her formula, are the shimmers are so Creamy. I didn't order cool, crazy, multi-dimensional ones except for one formula from Sydney Grace, so I'm gonna go over those. I got these months and months ago, but these are their multi-chromes. So this is called Twisted Shifter. And these have a very like flaky formula, but as you can see, you can already start to see the crazy multi-chrome. I love these. I haven't put them on my eyes yet because I'm so scared. So this is the best way, by the way. Not sure yet how that's going to translate on the eye, but that looks beautiful. The other multi-chrome from Sydney Grace that I have is Chameleon Air. So these aren't like a super creamy formula. These have more of like a dry formula. Mm. This one? Yes. As you can see, there's like flakes flying everywhere, but... So pretty. So those are just an interesting formula. But I would like to swatch for you shimmers just so you can see how crazy they are. So I originally purchased Elegance because I thought it would be such a great bridal color. And y'all, it is so creamy, so pigmented. It looks like it would be kind of just a bleh shade. But the pigment that it has when you spread it all over the eyes is just so stunning, so pigmented. Highly recommend this shade if you like really light pearly kind of colors. 
That one is stunning. Even though it's boring, it's a really stunning one that you'll use all the time. So this green gold is right up my alley. This is called Be the Sunshine. Be the Sunshine. Like, so her shimmer formula for Sydney Grace is especially phenomenal. Pigmentation that these have and the opacity and consistency that they have is just incredible. This is Light My World. It looks like... That. So the mountain bundle or whatever it was that I bought has beautiful beautiful greens mm, Like you can see The quality in these and then I'm gonna swatch one more from Sydney Grace because I don't have a very Extensive amount from her line. I did buy a lot of mattes from her, which are very nice. This is to earth which mm, Really pretty kind of forest green and you can see with this dark color, there is so much payoff. It's sickening. Look at that. Holy cow, look, that's could swatch all the way around my arms. That's how you can tell a good formula. Sydney Grace, I definitely need to grow my collection. I don't have a lot from her line, but from the one order I made, I am very, very impressed. So the last one that I'm going to kind of play with today for you guys is Terra Moons. Made the order a few months ago, but it's taken a while for me to sit down and play with these on camera at least. But we do have a matte formulation from Terra Moons. Now, the matte formulation here, I will say they're much more powdery, especially comparing them to the Sydney Grace formula. They're both good formulas. I just noticed that there really is differences in the formulas, but oh my gosh, the Terra Moons shimmery formula. So this is Harvest, and it looks kind of bronzy, but then it also has a green shift. Very hard to get a shift to show on camera. Fail. Today I'm learning my camera also has horrible autofocus. In certain lights, Harvest is like this bronzy color and then it has a green shift to it, so. This is Harvest. Y'all know I'm gonna die for Moon Lily, this shade. Whew, look at this. Oh my gosh. You can't replicate this shade. You really can't. This one might be my favorite from Terra Moons. This is Virgo. This neutrally silver kind of taupe, but the formula of this in particular, it feels like liquid. It's crazy. And look, it just keeps going. Do you see that? This is... I think one of my favorite shades ever, especially from Terra Moons. This is the one I recommend, so that's Virgo. Here's another fun one. This is Martian. More of that green gold that I own a billion in one of. So let's play a bit with Hot Spiced Cider, which has like some green gold browns to it. Listen, I'm not about to describe these shades. Oh my gosh, it just shifted purple when I put it down. I don't know what shade this is. Freaking what? So this is Alter Ego, and if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, like a multi-chrome. And I'm sorry, my camera has just stopped focusing on these shadows. Good thing this is like a impromptu chill video, but that's stunning. If you like purple blues, really pretty. And then this one I love. This is Sandbar. Same formula as that Virgo color. Oh my gosh. Literally liquid. Ugh. Are you kidding me? I have not put that on my eyelid. I don't know why I haven't yet. Okay, we have Solar Flare. Now this one I use on my inner corner and I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like that orange red shift to it that you don't see in the pan. So these are like, I guess, iridescent shades. So I don't know if it's gonna show up like the red. Pools, orange. These are a super cool formula. I love these. I need to order more of that type of formula. And then this one, Snow Globe. 
it's kind of glittery with some green sparkle in there. I feel like the only way to really get it to show is through like a swatch. So I'm just gonna bring you right up here. Now this one's a bit more flaky, but I know you see that shift right now. So Terra Moons. Okay, Terra Moons. So that was the last shadow that I'm gonna swatch for you today, but wow. I mean, kind of speechless, you guys know. As an eyeshadow enthusiast, this is how I enjoy spending my days. I've never filmed a video like this before, so I've learned a lot. I've learned that my camera sucks at focusing. I suck at swatches. But I think another reason why I kind of wanted to do this video, besides the fact that, you know, we're all bored and we're sitting here, is that I feel like, unfortunately for small businesses right now, it's a really hard time for them. People are, have definitely slowed down buying makeup. I've had a lot of you express concern to me as well, how now is not the time to buy makeup. And I mean, I completely agree. I have also slowed down, but I think that in these times, you know, makeup isn't important. I just kind of am posting things regularly and sales regularly just to keep things feeling normal and you know some of us are wanting to buy makeup because we're bored and some of us are not because we're worried about the economy and whatever you decide to do it's not wrong. Do what's right for you. Completely understand but please understand that this is a makeup channel and even through these crazy times we're still sitting at home so I choose to get my mind off things with makeup and so do a lot of my viewers. You know these indie brands right now it's a really really hard time for them if people are not buying and I'm sure this is how so many of these indie companies pay for their food <laughs> and if people aren't buying their products it's putting them in a tough situation as with anybody else especially in the service industry so you know instead of maybe purchasing items online from Sephora give indie brands a look because I just wanted to show you the formulas that they have are incredible I obviously am guilty of buying from Sephora all the time, but I did want to shed some light on these indie brands because truly they have formulations where if these were in Natasha Denona palettes, I would be like all hail Natasha Denona because these are incredible. So it was just really fun to sit down and play with some really pretty shadows and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you enjoyed just kind of laying back with me and enjoying the makeup. So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I will put the links down to the companies that I talked about down below and you know if you're looking for some very unique original shadows hopefully you will take a look at these indie brands and I would love to continue using them more and talking about them more as well. So if you have any suggestions for any indie brands that I should look into. Seriously, let me know. I'm looking to support those brands that I can right now because luckily I still am able to receive an income from YouTube and I use my YouTube money that I make to go back into my YouTube channel. So if that money can go into supporting these smaller brands that might be struggling now, I'm definitely looking into that for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Just fun to chill in this laid back environment and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like me to do more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.